Hi folks, Jane Ruffle. I'm here in the hospital and I just wanted to give you some insight into something. I was in our cafeteria earlier on and um, yeah, I'm allowed to roam around a bit. And I had this revelation which is so simple, so basic, but to me it was so profound. I was looking around and there's staff, there's nurses, there's doctors, there's uh, all sorts of staff members there. There's patients, there's visitors, there's contractors in the high-vis jackets, there's all sorts of people there having a meal in this beautiful surrounding. And I realised what is important to God is that each individual person, each one of us, is infinitely loved and desired by God our Creator. The intensity of it is so great. And why it's a revelation is, it's not based on your achievements. It's not based on where you come from. It's not based on what's going on in your head, what you believe, what you don't believe. It's not based on your ethnicity or your educational level or your status in society. It's none of that. It's the fact you're human. The fact you're created in the image and likeness of God however distorted that might have become. And we all are distorted images of God. We all need salvation, we all need rescuing. And this was an overwhelming sense that came to me. This yearning that God has, and he sees each one of us as unique and divinely special and beautiful and loved. And then I thought also of the unborn child. And I thought that unborn child in the womb is so beautiful and loved by his creator God. And his heart is grieved whenever a child's life is taken from the womb and destroyed. Oh my goodness. Not because of what the child was, not because of an ability or a disability, but because this child is created in the image of God. It doesn't matter about your education. It doesn't matter about how great you are in society. In fact, let the first be the last, the last first, as my son Luke always tells me. Let the humble be exalted, let the proud be brought down. And if we are blessed with abilities and strength, we have to use those to serve one another, to serve others, and most of all, to worship the Lord our God, who in his infinite love pours his love upon us, regardless of your situation like regardless of mine. Come to Jesus, come to salvation, surrender to God and experience his love for you in repentance and faith, in the crucified love of Jesus, in the rebirth of the born again, when he's raised from the dead, and he's sent into heaven. He is Lord, and he's coming back. He's coming back. And he wants to come back to love you and love me. Don't allow it to be a day of terror. When you run from God. Run to God. Experience his love. Experience his grace. Experience his forgiveness. Because there's nothing literally like it in the whole entire world. Nothing like it in the universe. Come to Jesus. God bless you. I hope it just touched your eyes. Johnny Ruffle. And I was just happy to talk to you today. Amen.